Good day, artists. This is just a quick little video to show you how to center lettering, how to center words on your paper, and how to do block lettering. If that's something that you're not familiar with doing, this seems to be a pretty simple way to explain it. So um, in order to have our lettering look nice and even, I like to draw some guidelines first, as tall as I want my letters to be. If I want them to be in the middle of the page, perhaps at the bottom of the page, I am gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna to try to line it up so that it is as parallel with the top and bottom as I can get it. Okay, once I kind of eyeball that, I'm looking for the same amount of space here as I have right here. I'm gonna spread my fingers. I like to turn the paper, it makes it easier for me to draw my lines against the ruler, but we're gonna spread our fingers on the ruler so it doesn't move. Instead of holding our pencil like we do when we write and resting our hand on the table, we're gonna scoot our fingers up. We're gonna pick our hand up off the table and we're gonna draw our line. We're gonna draw it lightly because this is a guideline. We're gonna erase this later. Then I figure out how tall I want my letters to be. I move my ruler, hold it down, pencil, right? Scoot it up to the top, draw my next line. So now I know where my letters are gonna go. This is how tall I want them. Now I have to figure out um, how to center them, right? If I want them in the center of the paper with the uh, same amount of space on either side, I am going to count the letters of my word, including the spaces if I have any. If it's more than one word, I'll count the space as if it were a letter. So I am going to write the word space. So I can do this on a separate piece of paper, but I'm just gonna draw it lightly right here. Okay, if I count the letters, there are five, which means that the A should be in the middle between the two sides. So if I kind of just, I can eyeball this, I'm just gonna mark the middle. That's where the A is gonna go, okay? Now, <clears throat> for the block letters. The simplest way that I have found uh, for people who aren't familiar with making block letters is to very lightly draw out your letters Okay, leave a little space on the top, leave a little space on the bottom, right there. And then leave a little space in between the letters. So I can draw this right here. Oop, I might, good gracious. Turn my paper, it makes it easier for me. All right, and then over here, and notice how lightly I am drawing these letters because, gracious, they're a little wiggly, um, because I'm going to be drawing around them in a moment. So, ooh. right, space, and then the E go right here. So I am, I'm not touching the bottoms or the tops, and I've left a lot of space in between each letter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line around the letter just like this, so that we don't touch the line that we made in the middle. We're gonna also do that on the inside if we need to, okay? Uh, let's see, I'll do this right here, right to the top, down to the bottom, and around. We can always make corrections after we get our letters drawn. <clears throat> if we want them to look more neat. Here we go. Around P. Inside. And around the S. There we go. So now we have our block letters, and then all we have to do is erase what's inside them and erase our guidelines, and we are ready for the next step.